This is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate, and today we are going to be talking about the Gator Website Builder and adding images. You can add images anywhere on your page using the responsive drag and drop um, functual functionality features. You can also resize or edit the image, and you can also add and edit all of the different behaviors, which is called animations. So let's get started. Click Edit Site. It will then load your website editor. Click Elements. Pop-up box. Scroll down. Images. Image. Add images a number of ways. You can add stock images, my images, linked images. What you first need to do is click the Add Image. You can upload an image. And this will open up your computer. Find an image, find the image that you would like to upload. Click on it. And you will see that it starts uploading under My Images. The second way to add an image is to add an image from a link. And what you do is you go and you find a picture that you want to have on your website. I'm just going to go into Google. You are going to open the link in a new tab. Right click on your photo and what you're going to look for is the image address. Copy that. Go back over to your Gator. Paste the address in here. In this where it says HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash link and you should have something as a PNG or a JPEG and then add image from link. This will then appear in, in your linked images. 
if you choose it, you just click on it. Wait, wait for the for round the circle, round circle with, the with the arrow and, and place. place. And add a stock image. And these are free images that you can use. And you do not have to worry about getting a copyright. Search. A keyword to the type of image that you want. You have many choices here. Architecture and real estate backgrounds, beauty and fashion, business, cards and uh, cars and transportation, computers and technology, games, hotels and travel, lifestyle, music and dance, nature and animals etc. Select you can select any number of images on the same screen. Okay, so I've selected these three. You can select one image by itself or three together and you can move the images anywhere here on your screen. Images, elements, images, image, my images. These are images that I have uploaded already. So I am just going to select an image. couple of images as an example. Place. This is how it will download if you select more than one, but you can move them. You can move them here on the page. So these are the, the images that I have selected. elements, images, image, these are linked images, so linked images are more advanced on this. This has a link in it. That I have found online and have used the link to get the image. Okay, so this is an example of a linked image. Elements, images, image gallery. You'll see a pop up of a gallery comes up. Add images.
Choose a source for the image gallery. Add images. OK. Here you can edit. So it will pop up with the images that are already been placed there. You can take these images out. And then add your own images in. You will see a round circle with a check mark. That means that you can add these to your gallery. and then click place. Each image you will see a title. So you would type in your title. A little bit of a description. a link if you have one, a website page, a URL, an email, your phone, a document, and then you would click OK. Also, if you want to put an alt tag, so you would do that for each one of your pictures and then you would save. Now, as you noticed, a couple of these have come in and they don't look proportioned. So what we're going to do is just go through the different editing that you can do. with your image. So let's just choose this image here. You will see the editing toolbox come up and you have a choice. You can attach a link, a website, the URL could be your YouTube channel an email, a phone number, a document, and then choose whether you want to open it in a new tab or not. I'm just going to choose email here. Your OK box pop up and then you click OK.
you can put an overlay on it. And an overlay is usually just a color that goes over the top of the image. And the way to do that is to choose a color. and decide. I'm just going to move this over. You can move your toolbox over so that you can see your image. So this is the color and you're just going to decide on how transparent it is going to be. And if you don't see a color that you're interested in, you can choose more colors. Use the slider and decide on what color you would like. And you see that it changes there and it also changes in your picture. Now, if you decide that you do not want to have this, we're just going to click in there again. You would then click this one. Which will then remove it. Next is your border. Now you can't really see the border there, but if you choose a color, say we choose black, and then the next one is your border width. So you can change the width of your border by changing the slider, moving the slider back and forth to change the border width. You can also choose more colors and again use your slider, slide, here you must choose a color to change the border. There we go. So you can see the different borders that are available. And then click out of your box and there is your border. The next one is the opacity. And this is how transparent your picture appears. animations bounce bounce in fade in flip flip in fly and bounce in fly and fade in fly in light speed, move and fade in, and shake. The next one, when you place a image on top of another image, you can Use your bring forward and your send backwards. If you click bring forward, your picture will then be on top, 
send backwards, your picture will then be on the bottom. You can do this with any of your elements. Next is duplicate. This will create a duplicate of your image. And if you want to delete that, you would then use this trash can. Now, always remember, if you do something and you feel that it's an error or a mistake, use your undo arrow. And redo arrow. So, undo. Redo. If you click the more, you will see more advanced editing. You can fit your frame, fit fit to the frame. Well, here's an example of the cover. We'll use this as an example right here. Edit item content. Okay. So here, this is what it looks like. I can move back. I can move next. This is where I you can move your photo around. This is my image, the cover. I want to fit it to my 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 box. So you see how I have now fit it to fit in the box that it is in as part of the gallery. I'll just do that again. Just click into this one here, into the advanced, the edit item content, into the image and the cover. So here you have a choice. This is the original right there. This is what it looks like. And this is when you fit it into the box. And of course, you can also go more to the left top. So I'll move it over to the right, to the bottom, to the bottom left and the bottom right, or in the middle. So, finish that. Anytime you want to move a image, wait for the four arrows and you can move it. When you click inside, you will see these boxes. You will see arrows, diagonal arrows, straight arrows, and the four arrows. Diagonal arrows means you can make it smaller. The straight down arrows means that you are making it smaller. But as you see, it is taking away the shape of your image. And the vertical arrows will do the same thing. We'll pull it out vertically. 
sorry, this is vertical, this is horizontal. Okay. Okay, so I showed you the color. background color. Say we choose blue, and we'll then turn the background, the color that you choose. If you want to choose the color, more colors. Say you wanted to go with a green, and you see how it turns green there. And of course, you can move your toolbar over further so that it's not, okay? So say you choose red, you move your selector slider up and you will see the different backgrounds that are available for you to choose. Border, border radius, okay? So what this is, this is a slider as well. It will slide across and it'll bring your border in to where you want it to be. So if you wanted a square border or if you wanted it more round and it will go to a fully oval shape. And at any time, when that box pops up, you can use that box for editing as well. Okay, so when I click more, okay. Um, now this is a shadow. This is also for more advanced users, but you can create a shadow in the back of your picture. And when I click out of this box, you'll notice that another box pops up. Okay, so this actually is another editing box. And this will also ask you, what do you want your element to do? Do you want it to be shown on all pages? Does it start visible? I'm actually not sure. Okay, so, so if you choose this one, this then all content, content outside, outside of the elements, the elements frame will be hidden. hidden. Okay, images. images. Icon. Icon. Here you will find many icons and you can use a keyword to search them. So you just type in, let's try Facebook. So as you type in, you will see the icon come up. YouTube. And then you would choose your icon. Now your icon will be attached to your, your cursor as it's going around. So let's just put the icon here. Now this is how small it is, but you see these boxes here, and again, these editing arrows. Here, diagonal, you can create a, you can change the size. And when you click into it again, you can change the color. Use your slider. And also, and also, it's a good, it's a good idea, idea when you're working, when you're working with, with your, your toolbars to bring your toolbar over so that you can see what you're working on. 
Okay, so we want to change the color and more colors and bring the toolbar over further. Okay, and it's a color, more colors, and then you can see the different colors of your icon. Now, now, another thing, another you, can thing you can do is you can save, save this, this color, color here. here. Just by Just going by into going the into color, color, going into, going into the, the box, box, it says H-E-X, -E -E copying, copying it. it. Now I'm going to change this color, this color to show you. To show you. All right. All right. Go out of here. Out of here. Our editor, and go back into my color where it says more colors. Go down here, and then I'm going to paste in what I copied. This is a record of the colors that you use, so you don't have to keep finding them. So I'm going to paste in that color, and it will automatically turn the color that I have chosen. So this is so this the, is icon, the icon, editing icon editing toolbox. toolbox. You can also you can add, a link. add a link. Now you'll notice now you'll when notice you attach when a link, you, a link, always, you have always have a choice. A website, a, website, a URL, URL, an email, an email a, phone, a phone, a document, and whether it's whether going it's to going open, to open in, a new tab. in a new tab. You can also you can add also an animation, add animation. And, and these are the animations, are the animations here, here that you can that add. You can add. And, and if you just if you click in one, you could see what see it what will do. do. And this and is an this element, is an element. So, so we're going to put, going this, put this on the top. On the top. Now, say now, say you wanted, you to, wanted put to put it behind it another, another element, element, you would just, you click, would just click in, in the, the send, backwards send backwards or bring, or bring forwards. forwards. And, here and here you can, you copy, can copy, make a duplicate, a duplicate if you wanted, if you to. wanted to. And if you and press, you more, press more, and here again here is the shadow, shadow, and the shadow and the gives shadow you this gives effect, effect right, here. right here. So if you wanted to you use, want a shadow, use a shadow, then, then this is how this you, is would, how use you it. would use it. So do you see the difference here? This is using the shadow. This is not using the shadow. Two different. Let's click more. And then we have something called a glow. And you can actually uh, need to move this toolbar over. And you can, of course, change the color. So if we wanted to just make it a color that we could see, you could see here. Elements, elements, images, images. I am just going to mention this uh, briefly. briefly. For Instagram, For Instagram.
it will pull up your gallery again again and then a pop-up pop box will come up And if and you if have you connected, connected your Instagram, your Instagram link, link, and also, and also you, have you have your Instagram, Instagram available, available to get to, to, get on, the to computer, on the computer, it should, should connect, connect it. it. You will also you will have, have to authorize, authorize it. it. So you so would go, you down, would go to down to the, the uh, manage. manage. To your social. To your social. And put, and put all of your all social, social links, links in here. In here. If you are if just you connecting are just your Instagram, Instagram, then Instagram, then make sure that you sure do have your have Instagram, Instagram link, link in, there. in there. And then it will pull the, the pictures, pictures from, your from your Instagram, Instagram over. over. in the form the of a gallery. Of a gallery. So, so I hope I this hope has this been, has been helpful. helpful. If you have, if you have any questions, questions, just leave them just for me at the bottom of this, bottom this tutorial. tutorial. I'll be happy to help you to answer any questions. And uh, look, look for the next tutorial that I will have coming out. Well, I hope I've helped in some way in your understanding of building your website using the Gator Website Builder. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, which I will be talking about pages. Until then, have yourself a wonderful evening. Right click, pop up menu.